Good afternoon guys, Clayton Biker Cowboy here at Paradise Harley-Davidson. Uh, I just wanted to do a little walk around on our custom Kings build this year, uh, 2019. So this is a 2019 Harley-Davidson uh, Sportster Iron 1200. So we decided to do a board tracker build. We call it, named it the PDX Flyer. We made it to, I believe it was number six in the nation with this motorcycle. We did really well, of course we would have liked to get first, but uh, came out really cool. So I just kind of want to go over a few of the highlights on this bike. We did a lot of handmade parts. I feel like maybe a few more handmade parts than maybe Harley Davidson would like to see. They like the bolt-on parts to fuel the fire in the industry, which is right on, good for them. I totally get it. Um, but we chose to go a little bit more old school and, and do some fab work. We've got Andy in the back, who's an extremely good fabricator. We've got Eddie of Bent Metal Customs, uh, our painter. He's not a shop employee, but he's also an awesome metal fabricator. Fantastic painter, as you can see. This is 2019 billiard blue color we decided to go with. Of course, we're running Shinko 777 tires. Maybe I had something to do with that, maybe I didn't. Um, so anyways, I'll just kind of go over the bike here. So we decided to go with 21 inch wheels, front and rear. And to give it the look we wanted, they extended this swing arm. It's super smooth, can't see it, but they extended it about an inch and a half back, which in turn put some more angle on the shocks and lowered it. Uh, this is a front fender that we converted to be a rear. Came up with this Springer seat somewhere from somebody's parts bin. It's always good to bring new life to old parts. The exhaust system was hand fabricated. They took some uh, stock head pipes and cut them up and welded them. Works really well. It does have a baffle in it, so it sounds good and gives plenty of torque and performance. We decided to go to a chain drive. I actually got to go to PBI Sprockets out in Hillsboro, Oregon. Their uh, manufacturer place, or packaging place, I should say. Their manufacturing place, I guess, got moved to St. Helens. But it was a great field trip. Got to go out there, learn a lot. And I also picked up uh, chain and sprockets for the race bike. So that was cool. We went with some bolt-on rear set pegs here. These are iron 883 pegs. They drilled this side cover here to kind of give it that racing look. The fuel tank is a big part of this build. So this fuel tank is 100% hand fabricated. Nothing for it was bought. Uh, they did use a filler neck off a of Harley and of course where the fuel pump goes in the bottom. But between Eddie and Andy, they hand hammered this entire uh, gas tank. You can also see here, it's notched out a little bit for the cylinder heads. It's kind of hard to catch this on video. The handlebars are totally fabbed up from round stock, bent and bent and bent until they made them where they wanted them to end up. Cool little offset headlight mount here, that way we didn't have to modify the triple, but we still got our headlight where we wanted it. They also fabbed up this front spring piece, which acts as a front fender, built a fork brace in here. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. And this actually does function. So down here you've got eyes on the end of it so as the suspension compresses this moves up and down and gives it that kind of real effect did a side mounted gauge went with vans brown grips on it stock controls on the handlebars rear sets on this side as well went with the number 19 because it's a 2019 motorcycle these are our rear taillights. These are made by Kiryakin, and it's really hard to see how tiny they are, but if you look at it compared to my fingernail, they're incredibly tiny, and they're about four times, three or four times as bright as stock turn signals. So we ended up with a really, really cool setup. It placed very well. We got a few trophies for it, which I forgot to grab out of the closet and put on this video. But this is the Portland Flyer here at Paradise Harley-Davidson. Uh, every two years, they do a custom Kings build-off. So in two years, we will build another bike. And uh, hopefully I can come check it out and share it with you guys. Hopefully we'll make first place next time. So thank you all for tuning in. And we'll catch you back here on Biker Cowboy YouTube channel. Have a great day.